there's some good things about all of the seasons. I'm just excited for a change. Yeah. You know, nice to be done with some of this heat and maybe get a little more rain just because yeah. our summer was so dry we and uh, the heat was relentless. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I will say this weekend it does turn hot again. So a very brief stint of cooler weather today and tomorrow. Then we're back under some heat. And what I do love about fall here are all of the changing colors in our leaves. We'll really start to notice that in just a couple of weeks as we head towards October. We'll start to see some patchier colors starting to pop out there in three weeks. That's the first couple of weeks of October. We're nearing the peak. And take a look at this picture I snapped on October 9th. This was several years ago, but I remember stopping my car and getting out to take this picture of a tree that was like an ombre of colors of red down to yellow. So this is how beautiful we can turn as early as the first couple of weeks of October. So get excited to see all of these fall colors out now that we are in this new season. Also look at our sunrise and sunset temperatures. We really start to lose that daylight and our sunrise becoming later and later in the morning. Our sunset earlier and earlier in the evening. Tonight's sunset just after uh, 7 o'clock here where we will see actually 12 hours and 10 minutes of daylight, so nearly equal. Uh, by the end of October, our sunset is just before 6 p.m. November 6th is on here. That's the end of daylight saving time where we fall back an hour and our sunset before 5 o'clock. So we lose that daylight real quickly by about 3 minutes and 10 seconds every single day now at this point in the year here, and you'll notice that more and more. We are still fairly dark outside. We're starting to get some uh, light there shining through some of the clouds as we begin to, to near that sunrise again. It's closer to 7 o'clock this morning, uh, but we're in the mid 50s now. It's a cooler morning. We are dry out the door and seeing again mostly cloudy skies. A lot of clouds have filled into the west sides of uh, the valley here and same for out in central and much of eastern Oregon. Temperatures mainly spanning the 50s to low 60s. Now we're tracking this low system. This was fairly anchored in towards southern Oregon, northern California, the first parts of the week. We talked about it a lot this week, uh, but that shifted across the state yesterday. It's now churning away and bringing in a lot of rainfall in areas of Idaho and eastern Washington. Also a great spot to get some precipitation. We're still dealing with wildfires in this area, drought and a lot of dryness uh, across those forest lands and wildlands. So nice to get to uh, some rain there back in the picture. We are seeing some wraparound showers cruising down towards the Cascades and around the, the, uh, the gorge this morning too, but it has been pretty dry here in Portland. We've just been pulling in some of those clouds and we should stay dry heading into our afternoon. So enjoy the morning here. We may see a bit of a mist out there, maybe some patchy fog across the coast, but mostly cloudy skies. A few of those clouds will break apart and uh, we're back in the mid 60s out towards the coastline in Portland today. High around 74 degrees will stay in the low to mid 70s. For the valley, we'll see a cloudy start with sun breaks by the afternoon and uh, out in central and eastern Oregon. Some morning showers still out there. Those will fade and we turn sunny back in the 70s today and the gorge also in the low to mid 70s with decreasing clouds uh, and some breezy conditions. Now, right now we have this low system in place that starts to shift out the door and we change up our pattern. Uh, we're expecting to see a ridge of high pressure setting up there. That jet stream goes up towards the north and that big ridge sets up. This will bring in the heat. It's a pattern we've seen all summer long, uh, but a nice stretch back in the 80s on the way for us that may start around Sunday uh, into Monday. So here's our seven day forecast. We're cooler through Friday, mainly dry, beautiful to get outside this weekend. We're still expecting to see some lovely conditions for outdoor activities. We'll stay warm back in the mid to even upper 80s Sunday and Monday. Uh, but again, a nice weekend to kick off with some fall festivities. Go hit the farm, go out for a hike. We will see some beautiful weather heading into our weekend.